he introduced the bill um, to expand the base. It's it was fake because what they want to do is they want to expand the base and put missiles there so that they'll become the most powerful um, thing in Japan, the most powerful thing in Asia, and everyone will be like, "Whoa, dude, we can't have no powerful Japan." It feels all darkened out. It's like, "Oh man, we can't have no powerful Japan." So like. They're going to kill us all. So every other country in that area is supposedly going to have to acquire the same technology to counteract that. And the only way for them to do that is to go to the black market, apparently, which is where this guy comes in. The, the whole thing was... He was approached by the CIA, and um, it's all their plan. They're trying to flush this dude out, this American dude named Richardson. They don't know nothing about him, except for his name is Richardson. And um, he runs this thing called the Black Monday, which is like some kind of secret black market goofball nonsense that has all these ridiculous nuclear weapons and stuff, so they're trying to, like, make him come out of hiding, or, like, they figure if they introduce this plan, then he'll have to have something to do with it, so that they can go, hey, you know what, like, uh, we got you now, you, you punk, but, um, you know, it's pretty stupid, but, uh, so that, you know, that's it, and for some reason they're gonna explain this for forever, and then it's like, so Daigo decided, you know what, I can't steal his land, I can't do this to kill you, so, you know, he said, no, I don't want to do it. That Toma guy, it turns out, is Okinawan. So he's like, he wanted to see the thing go through because Suzuki would then have the resort plan go through. And then, like, you know, all this, you know, it's ridiculous. All this stuff happens and all these people want this to go through. Uh, Mine wants it to go through because he wants to make money for the association. Because, you know, all these Yakuza groups own land over there. And there goes my thing, it's probably going to crash the freaking audio files now, thank you for doing that, and, um, <clears throat> so, your other choice is to ask him, like, okay, well, who shot Daigo, and he's like, oh, oh yeah, you don't know that, and it's another dumb cinema, turns out it's like, yeah, nine, it turns out that Daigo was shot, he's like, well, you know what happened is, like, uh, apparently, Kazama Joji, who's Kazuma Shintaro's brother, and that's where Kiryu's like, what, a brother? Oh my god. But he, uh, he, he works for the CIA now, and he needed the plan to go through to, or at least to be introduced. They don't really need it to go all the way through. And actually, Tommy, I never intended for it to go through, and that kind of pissed his little underling Toma off. Excuse me, anyway. Like, so that's what happens. He gets, um, he got sent, this Joji guy, Kazama Joji. They they picked that name because it could be George. You could say George Kazama. You know, they do a lot to have, like, uh, guys who work with America when they're Japanese. They, they picked that Joji, just like Yanami Joji. And they're like, hey, his name's George now. Or, uh, you know, what's that guy? Actually, one of the actors in this game is George. George something. I don't remember his last name now. I'm so stupid. He's uh, he's the guy who does Hamazaki's voice. His name is Joji, but he goes by George. I think it's like Takahashi or something. Any, I'm so stupid. I probably said the, the wrongest name on Earth. Anyway, um... So, anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so he's Kazama Shintaro's brother, and Kazama Shintaro, as you know, is uh, he's a Gokudo, he's a Yakuza. And this other dude was a cop, Joji was a cop, but he got fired from the force because there was a some kind of policy enacted that you can't be related to Yakuza and be on the force, probably to protect, you know, from them just, like, bribing people really easily or whatever. And, um... So he got, he was like, man, what the hell? I can't do this anymore. Even though he was like some elite cop. And now he gets sent to, um, now he just went, he went to the America and joined the CIA instead because he's like, hey, they treat me well, they treat me like a family or whatever. And he kind of regards the them as his family the same way that a Yakuza would, would view their clan as like the super duper greatest thing ever. And, um,. You know, it's all that, that whole thing where it's like, hey, whether you're on one side or the other, you're still just part of a, you know, stupid little gang, really. It's kind of like, a, what's that thing called? Infernal Affairs. But so, um, so that's why he was like, all oh, beautiful eyes, like my brother said it before, you know. And so, uh, he apparently shot them. He apparently shot both of those those dudes. It's going to turn out that he didn't, but, you know, he he was there anyway. It was at his visit so they got shot. And so he's like, well, it's crazy. And so you got to ask him, like, you know, you can ask him, well, what is, what do you need from us? Or you can ask him about the CIA. And I'm going to go ahead and ask the CIA first. Just, I don't even know why I did that, because it doesn't matter, because I'm just going to skip the cinema. 
But the CIA's involvement, like I told you, is to get Richardson on the Black Monday, and they don't know who he is. And, you know, so there's all these people who are trying to force the plan to go through. Suzuki got mad because he was like, when he found out that, okay, Toma found out that this guy doesn't want to do the plan, right? Remember when he went there and Daigo was like, hey, I don't want to do it anymore. And then, like, so he talked to Tommy, I guess, and Tommy was like, yeah, I don't want to do it either, man. You know, I just, I'm just doing this to flush that dude out. And so he's like, got pissed off because he wanted Prosperity to come to Okinawa this way. And so he goes to Suzuki. He like kind of broke ranks and was a traitor and went over to Suzuki's side and said, dude, they're, they're going to pull the plug on this thing. And so Suzuki reintroduced the plan. And since they're like, you know, in tandem, they're kind of like a, he calls it a one set. It's like a set. They have to go together. It's like a, they're like riders of each other or something. It's kind of like this weird thing where both have to be introduced at the same time. So <clears throat> he has no choice, but he has to go through with his plan even though he didn't want to. And so, um, anyway, his, he's going to ask you a favor now. Yeah, whatever. He's going to ask you a favor because uh, that's why I called you here. He needs you to save two people's lives. He wants you to save Kazama Joji. He wants you to save him and stop him from like shooting someone else needlessly for this thing to go on. And at the same time, he wants you to save Toma. Now, there's no doubt that that the CIA is going to move and they're going to put what's his name down there to fight to shoot Toma and kill him. He's he's hanging out in Okinawa right now, just kind of chilling in in one of the bars down there. And he's he sent a actually he's in a meeting right now. I'm sorry, he's in a meeting with a with Suzuki's men down in Okinawa. And uh, Tommy knows this, so he's like, go down there and like uh, stop Joji from shooting him. And, you know, it's like, well, you know, Date's like, well, didn't he friggin' go against you? Who cares? And then, you know, dude's like, well, no, nah, dude, he's he was my underling, and even if you betrayed me, I gotta watch out for him. And Kiryu's like, yeah, this guy's old school, good dude, you know. So, that's all that happens. And then, like, Suzuki finds out that you're there meeting with him. And so he sends, <laughs> he sends over his secret police, which is, you know, that's totally believable that there'd be a billion secret police outside the, outside the cap, the little capitol building. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! He asked about Mine too, because Mine is the guy. And he's like, "What the hell's going on with this Mine clown?" And he's like, "Oh, that dude." You know, he's like, he's freaking. You know, after the same thing, he's you know. He's got something to do with forcing this to go through for their plans too. I mean, it actually turns out. I mean, this is going to be a huge surprise to you, but Mine is working with the, uh, the guys. With the Black Monday. So here's this. These guys, like, Cutie's like, hey, get out of here, Date. And he's, he's like, I'll go out the front and keep him busy. Because they, they intend to kill you. I wasn't even running. That's the weirdest damn thing. I thought I was going to reverse him. It's like, oh, I'll try to reverse that guy. I <laughs> see that freaky looking dude. This this is completely unbelievable too. It's like so. Wouldn't this be in the news like crazy? I guess it is actually in the news later. But it's like no, they don't just like have these. I mean, this ain't friggin' Taiwan or whatever. No oh, thanks. I'm probably gonna get all these emails now from people going like Taiwan is fucking. What's wrong with you? You don't know nothing about nothing. Man, you guys are pissing me off so much. Look at this, man. Okay, uh, you know what? I'm tired of this. Oh, I'm on steps. You can't... One tip about the whole series, you can't grab anyone while you're on steps. Get off of me, you punks. Jesus Christ. Don't remember this fight ever being hard. Just fucked up my microphone again. What the hell? What? You stunned me or something? Man, I hate the way it's like, sometimes I just want to grab someone and, and just like kind of kick them away so that everyone will shut up. It's like, oh, you can't. Come on. How'd that guy even reach me? Damn, did I fucking finally do something? Wow, look at, the, look at how much damage I just took. I'm going to die on this really crappy part of the game, too. 